My name is Bowen Weston. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm from the Germantown section. I got injured one day. We was outside at Mali basketball uh, court. Which I was going for a fast break, and I got tripped. I was going so fast. I flew into the basketball, basketball pole that holds the basketball court up, and I went shoulder first into it. And that's how I actually tore my labor. Well, I keep my shoulder in shape now. I can train with weights. I try to do is push ups and pull ups as much as I can to make sure that the joint stays strong and that all everything stays connected. I try to play basketball still as much as I can. Also, with shooting drills, things like that, try to get my shoulder loose, keep it warm. Also, the injury impacts my playing, but you know, it limits my shooting ability. It also limits the amount of contact that I can, you know, withstand with, you know, trying to drive to the court, get to the basket. Or just trying to do random, you know, just pull ups or, you know, crossovers, things like that. It's kind of hard because I don't have, you know, full range of motion in my shoulder anymore. I'm not, it's not really as mobile as it used to be, so things are kind of harder. And also, dunking is almost impossible nowadays. You no know, one about the injury doesn't stop me from playing. The love of the game is still there. I love playing basketball. It's like, if I had to be in a wheelchair, I'd probably still be playing basketball. So. I don't think anything will really stop me from playing basketball. I feel like if you have an injury and you're actually passionate about the sport that you're playing or that you got injured in, I feel like you should continue once you, you know, you feel like you're back to 100% or you feel like that you can actually continue to play the sport that you want to play. I don't feel like, you know, you should let an injury, uh, injury stop you just because, you know, it hurts or it might set you back a little bit. A lot of people, you know, have injuries. Some of the greatest athletes get injuries and they either become better or they just continue on the path that they were already on. So I feel like, you know, if you have one, if you feel like you can overcome it, you definitely should.